Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you two new cards uh, I developed in the last couple of days. Uh, the first one is Unpivot, which is the reverse of Pivot. Let's say you have this input and you have one column called Quarter with uh, the quarters and another one called Amount with the numbers. You can pivot it so it will extract the value of, of the column Quarter and the amount and it will create one column per value of that column. But let's say now you have this as input and you want to do the reverse. You want to consolidate all of these columns into uh, two, one with the name of the column and the other one with the value. So now we have a pivot, which allows you to do that. Let's say I want to keep a uh, country and city. And for each combination of country and city, I want to um, unpivot uh, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. So now I have this and I can call it a quarter and I can leave it a value as it was or sales, something like that. So now the result is like the one in the beginning. It may have more uh, rows because uh, pivot will fill the missing combinations. So that's why there are more than inputs. And uh, the next one is uh, accumulate. Before today, some cards could uh, with a setting, remember all values and have an eviction policy, but that made um, some optimizations complicated and the, the setting was hard to find and to know it existed. So now we extracted that to a new uh, card called accumulate. It's similar to select. So you basically pick things um, you want to select and it will just add them to the beginning of the output. But it has an eviction policy here, a function that will run uh, when there's an update and will evict um, rows where the condition is false. And by default, it will keep the last 100, as we can see here. This eviction function has access to these five um, values that are only available uh, on eviction time. The, these are the time when the row was inserted the time when the eviction runs and uh, the index of the row uh, in the in the table. So, for example, here we keep the last 100. Uh, since many eviction policies are common and repetitive uh, and some people may not know uh, what's possible, we have the magic wand which proposes uh, some things like, for example, keep uh, rows inserted today. And if the input has a date or a timestamp, you can use it uh, in the condition. So you can say the rows where the time, the time in this column is today, not was inserted today, but uh, the, the thing happened today because the field says it's so. And with this uh, accumulate uh, card, now I can implement um, mean uh, a me median on group by because uh, now I'm sure that uh, the table I'm calculating the median is all there is and I don't have to keep all the values uh, forever to calculate the median. So this was uh, the work, uh, the accumulate and pivot cards and median for group by. Bye.